Hi, fifth graders. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Unit 9, Week 2, Day 1 of Making Meaning. My name is Miss Goff, and I teach at John Hay Elementary. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, but I've lived and worked in Seattle for the last five years. I have two dogs, Sloopy and T-Rex. Here you can see a picture of Sloopy. Her interests include running on the beach, eating broccoli, and snuggling under blankets. In tomorrow's lesson, you can meet my dog, T-Rex. You'll need some materials to complete this lesson, including a district packet or just a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and a turn and talk partner. If you need to pause this video to go grab those things, please do that now. Since we're all at home right now, your turn and talk partner will look a little different than it does at school. For example, you may turn and talk to someone in your family, a friend, a pet, a pretend friend, or you can pretend to have a conversation with your favorite celebrity. Just remember to share in the language that is most comfortable for you to use at home. Earlier, we read a story called The Zoo. We listened to a review of the story and we reviewed our own independent texts. You summarized the texts and then decided whether or not you would recommend them to others. This week, you will continue to focus on expressing your opinions about reading and begin to think about ways to express your opinions in greater depth. Today, we will be reading 12 Seconds from Death by Paul Dalswell. This is an action adventure tale about three skydivers who made a parachute jump that almost ended in disaster. This text is based in a true story which takes place in Cambridgeshire, England. Let's just stop there for a moment and think about what do you already know about the sport of skydiving? Let's go ahead and have you turn and talk to your partner. Before we read, let's discuss the people in the story. There are three main characters. Richard Maynard is the man who is making his first jump. Mike Smith is the instructor who is strapped to Richard. And Ronnie O'Brien is the instructor who has been paid to videotape Richard's jump. Now we'll read the first part of the story. All you need to do is listen and follow along. Richard Maynard was making his first jump. He had paid a substantial or large fee to plummet from 3,600 meters, or about 12,000 feet, strapped to Mike Smith, a skilled parachute instructor, expecting this experience, known as a tandem jump, to be the thrill of a lifetime, Maynard had also commissioned instructor Ronnie O'Brien to videotape him. What did you find out about the skydivers in the first paragraph of the story? Turn and talk to your partner now. Watching from 90 meters or 300 feet above, O'Brien saw the two men spinning out of control, and when the drogue parachute failed to open, he knew something had gone terribly wrong. Both men were just 45 seconds from the ground. If O'Brien could not help them, they both faced certain death. Now it's time to pause and think. What happened in the part of the story you just read? Turn and talk to your partner now. O'Brien changed from the usual spread eagled posture of a skydiver and swooped down through the air toward the plummeting pair with his legs pressed tightly together and his arms by his side. He had to judge his descent very carefully. If he overshot, he would have little chance of saving the two men, but this veteran of 2000 jumps knew what he was doing. Positioning himself right in front of them, he quickly realized what had happened and tried to grab hold of Smith so he could release his main parachute. But diving at the same speed was extremely difficult. 
O'Brien would be within arm's length of the falling men and then lurch out of reach. Suddenly, he fell way below them. Time was fast running out. The ground was a mere 20 seconds away and O'Brien knew he had only one more chance to save their lives. He spread his arms and legs out to slow his descent and this time managed to connect with the pair. Whirling around and around, O'Brien searched frantically for the handle that would release Smith's parachute. With barely 12 seconds before they hit the ground, O'Brien found the handle and the large main chute billowed out above them. Slowed by the chute, Smith and Maynard shot away as O'Brien continued to plunge down. He released his own parachute when he was safely out of the way, a few seconds before he himself would have hit the ground. By the time the tandem pair had landed, Smith had recovered consciousness, but collapsed almost immediately. Only then did Maynard realize something had gone wrong. Caught up in the excitement of the jump, with adrenaline coursing through his body and wind roaring in his ears, he had had no idea that anything out of the ordinary had happened. Earlier this year, we learned about text features and how they can help the reader understand a story. Pause the video for a moment and look at this diagram. Decide how the text features help the reader understand the plot of the story. You may have noticed that this diagram contains a lot of large numbers. The numbers at the top are larger, about 12,000 feet, and they get smaller as you go down the page. The numbers also correspond with the pictures over here, which represent the fall or the descent downward of the skydivers. When I see a lot of large numbers, it helps me to understand them by trying to put them in perspective. For example, at the very top of the story, the skydivers are about 12,000 feet high. I know that I've seen Mount Rainier driving around Washington, and I know that Mount Rainier is about 14,000 feet tall. So the height of the skydivers when they were at their very highest is just slightly below the height of Mount Rainier. Now turn to your partner. What do you think are the most important events in this story? Look back in your text and underline or highlight parts if you need to. Which parts of this story did you find especially exciting or interesting? You may want to highlight those as well. you may have found exciting were the part where the parachute got tangled around Smith's neck. You might have also thought it was exciting when O'Brien saved the skydivers with just enough time. It might also have been interesting to you that Maynard never even knew he was in trouble. Now that you've read and discussed 12 seconds from death, you'll practice orally summarizing the story with your partner. Oral means to say out loud and to summarize means to tell the most important parts of the story. Take a few moments to consider these items and share them with your partner out loud. What are the most important parts of this story? Consider the characters, the setting, the plot, dialogue, and text features. Pause this video to share out loud with your partner. Now that you've practiced summarizing the most important parts of the story, you will share your opinion with your partner about the story. Consider these questions and share your answers out loud with your partner. Did the story 12 seconds from death hold your interest? Why? Were the people or events described in the story interesting? Why? And how did you feel as you listened to the story? Why did you feel that way? Share your answers out loud with your partner now.
Welcome back. Thanks for sharing your opinions. Now you'll have 30 minutes to read a book of your choice. When you're finished reading, we'll come back together. You'll share your oral summaries as well as your opinions with your partner. Remember to consider these questions about your independent reading. Is the story you are reading holding your interest? Why? Are the people or characters interesting? Why? How does the story make you feel? Why? And would you recommend this story to someone else? Why? Be prepared to share these things with your partner after you read. See you soon! Welcome back, readers. I hope you enjoyed your book. It's time to summarize what you read to your partner, including all of the most important points of what you read. Remember to also include your opinion. Did the story hold your interest? Were the people and characters interesting? How did the story make you feel? And would you recommend it to someone else? Thank you so much for participating, fifth graders. And don't forget to join me tomorrow for part two of our lesson on 12 seconds from death. Bye, fifth graders.